I liked this episode a lot. Like, I really liked the concept of, um, like, analyzing this relationship between um, a human and an AI. I liked the fact that it seemed like he knew that he was sending them um, to that island knowing that, you know, like, what would happen to his wife. Um, I, I just like how that played out. I felt like it was subtle but impactful. Um, I also really liked all of the AI robots on the island. They were super adorable when they threw that little welcome celebration. I, my, like, my heart melted. It was like having a bunch of wallies just greet <laughs> you like a long lost friend. It was great. Um, okay. and then I, I'm curious to see, but I'm also scared to see what happens with the, I forget their, what their name are, something that starts with a T, but the... Tolka? Tol- 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 yeah. yeah. I'm so tired of seeing that guy. That guy just needs to die. Oh my god. <laughs> that was going to be one of the points I want to bring up, is I'm tired of how conveniently he is involved in now all these interactions, even the, though they are years apart from each other, and he just happens to be in the right place at the right time every... Oh, I actually kind of like the fact that he's always there, because I feel like I mean, I know it's convenient. I, I mean, you no, can't. I think that's the biggest that. thing. It's convenient, and I understand <laughs> what they're going to try to do with it of yeah. changing his perception of, you know, AIs and all that. But I like, I how, with, I like how with this episode where, you know, seven years ago, or no, sorry, um, I think at, well, at this point, it would have been like 12 years ago, where he, you know, comes up with this big elaborate plan to basically have like that entire like hotel area crash into the earth. And then this one, he basically just shows up with a fucking boat to an island. <laughs> Uh, with, with the tote guy where it's yeah. just like this guy like uh, he's just losing it like he has there's no plan whatsoever he's just going for it just straight forward i feel like he's like team rocket where he's like what half-ass ideal oh. <laughs> should we try to go with this time? he's becoming team rocket because he actually yeah. it seemed like he had like a like seven years where he basically found like this ai robot and came out with this giant thing to basically <clears throat> you know come uh come up with this this plan to have this entire thing just crash to the earth this one I mean, he's just going face, you know, just, you know, uh, just frontal with was four helicopters, four, four tugboats. And then they basically just going to hope for the best. Uh, yeah. I will say one more, uh, one critique that I have is that I miss, um, I miss the teddy bear. I don't yeah, like the new cube. Oh, you don't like, um, portal cube. yeah, Matsumoto's portal cube. Thank you. <laughs> That's yeah. what I was trying to say. It's depressing. I don't like I the cube. S- it just feels like it takes away like the personality. For but me. it can fly. Ooh. But it's a flying cube. Ooh. It, Ooh. That, is, that is one thing. Yeah, when they were first rescuing the guy from like the car chase, and you know, Matsumoto's just floating around in his cube and like, stuff, I'm just like, like, oh no, just kidding. Yeah, just kidding. <laughs> I can fly. And I'm just like, it's okay. kind of detailed. I was like, that would have been a lot better if he's just a teddy bear whipping around and stuff rather than just like, okay, now this cube that can do whatever. Yeah. I just want to say for um, me, the the robots they remind me more of the ones from Near Automata. They look way. They look I was gonna say that. Yep. Yeah. I, I haven't played that, so I can't relate. Really... Yeah. No, I'm just saying, just for me, all, it reminds me of Near. All I could think of is Near Automata, and then with the facility itself, I think it's this called what Metal continue. Float. This cannot continue. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and then um, the fact that they call it Mother Base. I just immediately thought of uh, Metal Gear Solid Gear. because in the latest game, that's kind of like your base of operations is Mother Base. So I'm just like, oh, cool. Where's uh, where's Solid Snake at? Where are these guys at? Um, you should have but, totally had some sort of a Solid Snake Easter egg in there or something. Right? Just like some cardboard box crawling around. Um, but I, I am interested to see Ku's thoughts because, you know, it sounds like he's, you know, potentially maybe not a fan of this episode. And I can maybe potentially agree with it just in the sense of, um, well, obviously, before I hear his thoughts, but um, the one thing I didn't like is I feel like this episode's going to have pretty weak writing where I feel like that wife is obviously still like the one that controls this facility. And there's going to be something uh-huh. of like her being evil or something. It just feels pretty weak from a right point. Yeah, I mean, just at this point, I don't feel like I know what direction they're taking it anymore. Right. Because if you. You know, even in the beginning, they showed that you know, with what Vivi and Matsumoto is doing, they're, they're they're divulging away from the the main timeline, I guess. And they're then, out. yeah, and then like, I I don't really get like what could they have possibly done to make everything fast forward twenty years? All right, so we basically um... cut off where Ku was having that great explanation. So my bad, Ku. Oh, oh my goodness! All right, basically, uh, run it back. Okay, <laughs> basically. 
before it was nice because there was like a clear like cause and effect right and then it looked like it was going to be smooth it was going to be like uh like sophisticated complex writing where it was it was going to be interesting kind of unique but now now i feel like it's going to become very cliched writing and the storyline you can kind of already see how it's going to play out like some of the things that they're doing doesn't make sense even after all these years like um my but, but, but basically like i thought it was i thought it was really interesting what they had going at first but now it's kind of like i feel like it's lazy writing right you got time skips mm-hmm. here and there there's not really a clear cause and effect as to because we did this this is happening it's just more of like a very simple explanation for what they did before and i don't feel like it's satisfying enough to yeah. uh justify what's happening right i would yeah. agree with that i feel like we definitely have started to realize now the the model that these episodes will be taking of like all right time skip new event that needs to be interjected in there's going to be some ai involvement where oh we thought the ai was good oh psych turns out the ai is actually bad so now we need to step in and fix it um so i totally uh, agree with the the sentiments there ku and i think for me what i'm kind of more unfortunately realizing now is like i don't i mean obviously it's still too early to tell but now I'm just really starting to think like there's not going to be any like oh shit revelations. Right. I personally feel like you don't know, think so. I maybe mean, they're, they're it'll still happen things. involving like Vivi and Matsumoto, but oh, uh, there's. I guess maybe games. next week will tell me for sure if we see. Well, I think the next ending, week isn't going to be somewhere in the ending it's gonna be, it could, you know. but I don't know. Yeah. Like I think with the oh. regular stuff, like maybe not. Yeah. Mm. They are deviating from the original timeline though, timeline. quite a bit. Yeah. So yeah, so we'll see. Yeah. Like they even like uh, mentioned but, how like they're it's, twenty it's years like, ahead. It's like how Ku and and Jester say it. It's all it's it's all predictable because it's just like basically like everything you do is just like the thing you're trying to prevent. You just made it stronger. So, mm-hmm. mm. but but the AI is like actually seeing it like in a better light though. I'm not sure what the AI yeah, but that's is. What they're, they're, they're trying to prevent that because the whole point is that then it just makes advancing AI even faster. So then it gets to that point where. Like the war breaks out, or whatever. I wonder what like the the standing like uh like like how the AI like how the AIs were look or you know how they seemed I guess like back in like the other timeline, like where they seemed like, as like more of like a negative light, positive light, like what like what could have actually yeah. caused it. And that's something um, probably we'll never know. Just yeah, yeah. the, the later yeah. episodes. So we could be going the good route. Who knows? Uh, I saw red, <laughs> buddy. Whenever you see red, that usually means a bad thing. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's fair. And come I on, mean, I mean, AI marrying like an actual person, that's kind of creepy, you know? I mean, you have people marrying anime characters. Um, so maybe, I don't know. It's not that surprising. <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, I, mean, um, I basically I, agree I, with yeah, everything yeah. that you guys. Yeah, I basically agree with everything that you guys are saying. Like, I'm not emotionally connected to the show. I'm not going to like um, battle on a hill over this. I, I, it's, I, I, like, if I was to rate it right now, I'd be like a six. So, I mean, I just like this episode more than the others, probably because I was just more in the mood to watch it. Um, but I, I will say that I think it's a little bit too early to, to say, like, if there won't be any big reveals or anything like that. I still feel like there's something that's going to happen, happen with Mashimoto or whatever. Matsumoto. Matsumoto. Yeah. Matsumoto. Yeah. Um, before the end, because just for no other reason than who the author is, there's got to be something that's waiting. So I'm kind of curious for that. And mostly I just don't really find it like... Like, I find the characters, like, tolerable. Like, it's not annoying. And I feel like there's a lot of, like, mid-shows this season. I, this is just a touch above. <laughs> but, yeah. Sorry, Justin, what were you going to say? Oh, no. I, I completely <laughs> agree with that. So. Yeah. We shall see. It definitely has kind of simmered down from the, the hot start that it had in these first. Yeah. I'm still enjoying episodes. the show. But, like, this episode, like, yeah, yeah I don't, same. not I hate it, but just, like, I, I couldn't, like, find much things to talk about this episode, basically. So that's, that's my feeling. <laughs> I'm still liking it. It's kind of like typical where it's like approaching like that mid-season kind of uh, lull. lull. So we'll see how it picks up at the end, yeah. 